Hi. It was exactly a week ago when I believe I was ex I experienced mercury poisoning. Previous day I had a large amalgam filling removed from my tooth. It was performed here in, in the suburb of Brisbane. And uh, Lady Denty didn't use rubber dam. So this video is for those of you who have either amalgam fillings or you know someone with amalgam fillings or you eat a lot of seafood uh, where actually, you know, the oceans are full of heavy metals and mercury as well. You may experience mercury poisoning at some stage in your life. So the dentist was supposed to be used rubber dam. She didn't and uh, she uh, asked, she, she had an apprentice there doing the suction. And I believe I swallowed quite a lot of, uh, of the mercury that is 50% of amalgam in the filling. What happened exactly a week ago, I uh, suddenly started losing consciousness. I was going to faint. I had a strong pain in my chest, uh, heart palpitations. I was unable to move or walk. I felt very dizzy, spaced out. Uh, I'm just mentioning as many symptoms as I can remember. Uh, I was unable to make decisions, uh, lack of motivation, basically lost and I was uh, taken to hospital to an emergency department of uh, Prince Charles Hospital here in Brisbane. They performed all sorts of tests on me on the way to hospital as well as in the hospital. Blood tests, urine tests, uh, blood pressure, everything was fine. They said 100% physical functions were 100% fine. I got to hospital and uh, I finally managed to, I became sick and I vomited it all out. So that's when I actually started feeling better uh, and, uh, and fine and then they released me home. So I thought I didn't trust those results and I thought I have to get a personal heavy metal test kit. So I managed to order it online. Uh, the company name is called Organics Australia Online. And I, I'm going to test if I do have uh, raised levels of uh, mercury in my body. I have, if you come down with the camera here, what I have here is a urine sample. And let's do it. So I'll remove the cap from the test kit. There is some, uh, it's called dithizone in the cap already. And I'm going to take, this is the solvent. So I'm going to take half a mil of this solvent and put it in this uh, test tube. I want half a mil. Okay, this is exactly half a mil. I'll pour it in here. I'll close the tube. We do this is on in the cap and they say shake it vigorously for approximately 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, I meant to get some timer here, but I haven't got any. You've got a timer there, excellent. Communicate. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask via posting comment below. 30 seconds gone, yes? Let me know when. They say it will become green, and it is green already. 30 seconds gone. Now we have the test uh, tube ready and another uh, the base for another minute they want to sit it like this so it reacts with the DC zone and then the solution will be green ready to be used. Okay now I'm going to add 2 to 3 mil of the liquid to be tested. It can be anything water, juice, in this case it's the sample of my urine. So we take two to three mil and two to three mil, okay. Two and a half is perfect. And now into the prepared test tube. in there. 
Okay, we close it. And now shake vigorously for approximately four to five seconds. Okay, and then stand for 15 to 20 seconds. So timer is running there, 15 to 20 seconds. And then they say a color change confirms heavy metal ions present. See chart in front, which is here, you will see it on the camera. If there is no color change, no heavy metal ions present. And we'll see what happens. So those colors are indications. And it is yellow with a bit of green on the top. So we'll see what the result will say. And I believe 50 20 seconds are up. Uh, color change confirms heavy metals. Okay. Now, to me, clearly, what color is it? Is it yellow? It was yellow, wasn't it? It was yellow. But how? What, what? What am I supposed to see here? Probably, if the color changed to something else, that would indicate something. But yellow changing into yellow. <laughs> Maybe you need some comments from somebody who knows yes. what to do. <laughs> yes, please post comments below this video. I need to know whether this is a legitimate test or not. It is still yellow with a bit of green on the top. You be the judge. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for this video. And uh, let me know what you think. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Stay well and healthy. Bye for now. Now, in addition to confirm the results of the test. My partner Hannah gave me a sample here, is her urine sample, and this is what happened. This is the result. This is the green color as we wanted it. In my case, if it was green, I don't think there, there is a mercury. But look how yellow this still is. And this is clear difference. So I suspect that the test is confirmed this is my urine sample. I believe that there is uh, uh, mercury levels and this one is still kind of greenish, yellow, more green than yellow. So this is as a comparison. Please leave your comments below the video and uh, stay well.